Imagine inheriting hundreds of millions of dollars. What would you do with it? Would you donate it to charity or build your dream home? Hi everyone, my name is Ken. Welcome to This House. Today we are exploring the history of the Hearst Castle. George Hearst, William Randolph Hearst's father, had purchased the original 40,000 acre estate in 1865 along with Camp Hill, the site for the future Hearst Castle. It was used for family vacations during Hearst's youth. In 1919, Hearst inherited some $11 million, or the modern equivalent to over $165 million. He also inherited estates, including the land at San Simeon. He used his fortune to further develop his media empire of newspapers, magazines, and radio stations, the profits from which supported a lifetime of building and collecting. He had commissioned Julia Morgan to build something a little more comfortable up on the hill. These words would become the genesis of the present castle. Julia Morgan was an architectural pioneer. Many refer to her as America's first truly independent female architect. She was the first woman to study architecture at the School of Beaux Arts in Paris, the first to have her own architectural practice in the state of California, and the first to ever become the winner of the American Institute of Architects gold medal. Working in close collaboration with Hearst for over 20 years, the castle at San Simeon would become her best known creation. In the roaring 20s and into the 1930s, Hearst Castle reached its social peak. Originally intended as a family home for Hearst, his wife Millicent, and their five sons, by 1925, he and Millicent had effectively separated and he held court at San Simeon with his mistress, the actress Marion Davis. Their guest list comprised mostly of Hollywood stars of the period, Charlie Chaplin, Cary Grant, the Marx Brothers, Greta Garbo, Buster Keaton, Mary Pickford, Jean Harlow, and Clark Gable all visited some on multiple occasions. Political luminaries encompassed Calvin Coolidge and Winston Churchill, while other notables included Charles Lindbergh, P.G. Woodhouse, and Bernard Shaw. Visitors gathered each evening for drinks in the assembly room, dined in the refectory, and watched the latest movies in the theater before retiring to the luxurious accommodations provided by the guest houses. During the days, they admired the views, rode horses, played tennis, golfed, and swam in what was called the most sumptuous swimming pool on earth. While Hearst entertained, Morgan built. The castle was under almost continual construction from 1920 until 1939, with work resuming after the end of World War II until Hearst's final departure in 1947. Hearst, his castle, and his lifestyle were satirized by Orson Welles in his 1941 film, Citizen Kane. In the film, which Hearst sought to suppress, Charles Foster Kane's palace, Xanadu, is said to contain paintings, pictures, statues, the very stones of many other a palace, a collection of everything so big it can never be catalogued or appraised. Enough for 10 museums, the loot of the world. Wells' illusion referred to Hearst mania for collecting. The dealer Joseph Duveen called him the great accumulator. With a passion for acquisition, almost from childhood, he bought architectural elements, art, antiques, statuary, silverware, and textiles on an epic scale. Shortly after starting San Simeon, he began to conceive of making the castle what he called a museum of the best things that I can secure. Foremost among his purchases were architectural elements from Western Europe, particularly Spain. Over 30 ceilings, door cases, fireplaces and mantles, entire monasteries, paneling, and a medieval tithe barn were purchased, shipped to Hearst Brooklyn Warehouse, and then transported onto California. Much was then incorporated into the fabric of Hearst Castle. In addition, he built up collections of more conventional art and antiques of high quality. His assemblage of ancient Greek vases was one of the world's largest. In May 1947, Hearst Health compelled him and Marion Davies to leave the castle for the last time. He died in Los Angeles in 1951. The Hearst family gave the castle and many of its contents to the state of California. It has since operated as the Hearst San Simeon State Historical Monument. The Hearst family retains ownership of the majority of the 82,000 acre estate and, under a land conservation agreement reached in 2005, has worked with the California State Parks Department and American Land Conservancy to preserve the undeveloped character of the area. Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time on This House.